Hi folks, uh, 25th, 25th of July, I am back again carrying on from kind of where that last clip left off because it finished prematurely. I hope this memory card is going to be better. Uh, yeah, the, the memory card finished prematurely on me for some reason. I don't know, but it didn't. It didn't appear to be full at all. The card, it's supposed to be a 16 gigabyte card, and it was nowhere near full. But it said it was full. So what I did was I tried to format it on my my Apple computer, unsuccessfully because I'm not an Apple person really. But I have an Apple computer, just of late, and it's been kind of frustrating me a bit. So. Um, so eventually I went back to my old 2009 Toshiba notebook and form, put the card in there and formatted the card. So I'm hoping it's going to be better. So anyway, to cut a long story short, <laughs> I'm trying to sort of pick up from where we left off. Um, only difference being I've, a I've added a, 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 an extra ounce of clay. So instead of 24 ounces, I've now got 25. And and I'm not throwing on a bat, I'm throwing directly on the wheel head. So just lifting the clay up here, and we're gonna just roll that rim over. Now I'm constantly getting people writing to me, saying, oh, but Simon, aren't you trapping air? when you roll the rim. Well, I don't think I am, no, because I'm not rolling a tube, as it were, all the way around the outside here. It's not like a, a the rolled rim is not like a hollow tube with a, a hole all the way down through it. People seem to think that it is, I think. It's, it's basically, it's basically this rolled rim is just a folded over rim. As I fold it over, I imagine I'm trying to, yeah, as I fold it over like that onto itself, the air is um, squished out, you know, in the process. But it doesn't trap air. So you have no fear about rolling rims and trapping air, okay? Yep, that's good. That's seven inches. Yeah, the weather is still raining. It's like a summer of rain, isn't it? Well, here in the northeast it is anyway. I know it isn't in um, out west where it's all you lot out there are baking in a hundred plus degrees. So just just putting my throwing stick down the the outside there, putting in that bevel. Okay. So what I'm now going to do is what you saw me do in the last video. What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go like this. first. Okay, then I'm going to take my my cutoff wire, cutting off a little higher. So I take the wire, I don't hold the wire down onto the wheel head. Okay, I, I if you can see my finger, I place the wire just up a little bit on either finger like that. It just enables me to raise the wire. The other thing also to bear in mind is that this is not a twisted wire. This is a one single strand of fishing nylon, okay? And I'm just going to insert the wire just above above the and then carefully take it out. Again on this side, dead opposite and in like 
that, and then out. Okay. Okay. What I really need to do now is just kind of dry off my hands a little bit and have a sip of tea. Okay. So we've we've kind of squared it by just sort of pushing out into the corners like that. We've cut in on both sides. What we need to do now, and what I didn't, I didn't do it so well so you could see it, so I'm gonna turn it round to you. Because when I did it, my hand, I noticed, was in the way. So now what I wanna do is take hold of the side here and lift it and I've lifted it in, you see. Spin it around the other way. Don't worry if it goes a bit out of shape in this at this time. Take hold of it. Move him in. Drop him down. Just running my finger there on the inside. Over the over the join, okay? Well, Simon, that doesn't look very square. <laughs> it's like you made a bit of a pig's ear out of that one. Well, fear not. Fear not, my friend. These will be trued up. Uh, they will be trued up a bit later. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a blast of hot air. If you are going to use one of these guys, be aware of anything that can melt like this is this this plastic rubbery insulation stuff or my water pot here or if you're using a plastic bat and you're using this, this will melt your plastic bat. So just be aware of that. Okay. Uh, what I want to do now is Put a couple of lugs on the end. I will come along with my paddle afterwards, as I said, and paddle that. So I'm just going to take a, just one of my bats. I'm going to damp it like that. That's actually important if you're going to roll out any clay to add, you know, as a lug or anything like that. Then you want to. Um, Make sure you're not rolling it out on a on a dry so bear in mind the thickness of the roll there when you're rolling ro use the whole of your hand if you're rolling out sausages like this. Otherwise you get a sort of kind of oval. So do one, cut one and then use that one to measure for the other one. Okay. Let's put that over there. Do so I've got these lugs, these are going to go on the end here like this. And I'm kind of working a little bit 
I mean, usually, and really what I've been more trained to do, I'll be honest with you, is let everything get like leather hard and then, and then, then, then attach, you know, but I'm not doing it. I'm trying to work much softer, much wetter. Okay, so now just position this, all right, where you, where it's in the middle, like that, good, swing him around. This is a little bit, yeah, working a little bit more wet on wet. I'll be honest with you, it's not my forte. I've not done a lot of this kind of thing. Some people are very good at it. I want to get better at it, so I'm going to put in some practicing time, you know. What's that lady, that American potter? She lives in England. She does a lot of this. I um, can't remember her name. She does a lot of working like wet on wet, you know. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to just, as you can see, are we in the picture? Are we in the picture? There it is. The nice thing about working wet on wet is you get very good, you don't get cracking when you join and you get a very good join. All right. So a little bit more of a, a direct approach to the process. A little bit, you know, like the, uh, cutting out the bisque firing is. Uh, you're doing everything. Now I've not cut him off the, from the wheel and I can't really lift him up because he's too soft. Maybe I'm just going to give him another blast actually. the thing isn't it of course um, it's a bit difficult to get down here now I'm finding maybe I'm going to cut him off I'm going to cut him off so I'm going to do that I'll put him over here See if I can get him onto this. So I actually want to lift him up a bit to to work on it. I've cut him off. Okay. Well, there he is. You see, he's coming off. Okay. And that's basically because we have. I'll lift him up now on there. You see. Maybe re reposition that camera touch. All right. You have to bear with me here, folks. A little bit. I'm a little bit working. <laughs> A little working here, a little sort of flying by the seat of my pants. As so, I'm... yeah. So what I want to do is do the do the termination here on on each end. Of course, I'm, everything is is kind of rather soft. So I'm going to have to be supporting it a little bit as I do this because. It's going to have a slightly different feel to the, the pot because of the soft nature of the clay, which I actually quite like, you know, I like it when it's a little bit, it's a little bent out of shape, you know, I'm kind of, my father, I worked for my father, David Leach, you know, he was very, kind of very rather tight potter, working rather tightly with the material and the clay. Everything was very sort of, and I, I, that's sort of how I learned to, to, to work, you know, because I had to work for him. I had to please him. I had to, you know, do his porcelain and so on and so forth. So I found, I found myself to be a little bit tight in certain areas, a little bit over particular sometimes, I uh, wanting to I'm wanting to actually loosen up a bit, you know what I mean? 
I'm not, I'm not a very tight person as such, yet my pots, people might think they're a little bit tight. I don't know. I don't know what people think of my pots. Anyway, so, yeah, working with the material when it's rather soft like this is 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 definitely challenging because you know you, 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 the, the work doesn't support itself it gives it gives and now I've gonna jab my fingernail in it there all right I want to sort of get a feeling of not overworked a little bit I don't like to say this but you know a little bit slapdash <laughs> Slapdash. But I don't want it to be slapdash, but I want it just to be a little bit loose in a sort of certain way. I don't know. Of course, being rather soft, it is it can easily get a feeling of being a little bit um uh manhandled, you know. So, uh, just to show you this a bit closer, so, all right, those are the, those are the lugs there. Now we've got this clay here, haven't we, along the side that we've got to, we're now, we've got to do something with that. So, we're going to have to cut that off with a fettling knife. So I've got one of these fettling knives. So what I want to do is come along here carefully. Cut like that. See, this is like dead soft. Cut there, and now cut this. It's like an ear, an ear, isn't it? Like a bit of a, an ear of clay. All right, stick that in there. Pull him out. Well, the one, the very first one I did was actually was a little bit smaller, wasn't it? Well, I had a little less clay, but it was a little squarer. This one is not quite so square. So actually, what I want to do is. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I want to turn him upside down. Ooh. Okay, let's just bring the camera, have a quick look at that so you can see some of the detail. All right, the warts and all. Okay, so you can see where I've cut, I've cut this off here. And you can see that that needs, that's going to need a little bit of fettling off, isn't it? Okay. So that's what we've got to do now. We've got to, we've got to tidy that up. I'm hoping, you see, that when I finish doing this, it's, it's finished. I haven't got to come back to it and work at it, you know, like uh, tomorrow or another day. You know, it's done. So, yeah, so this here, just want to just smooth that over there, touch those corners all right now what I want to do I don't know if I can do this you know trying to cut clay when it's wet like this is not that easy it doesn't peel off like it does uh, when you cut it when it's
when it's, when it's stiffer. Oops. So what I want to do is here, I want to actually cut here like a, oops. And what I'm trying to do here is sort of put like a, a, a bevel, you know. Trying to cut the clay, clay though while it is this soft down here. It is a little challenging, but we'll get there. Steady hand, you know. going to use a sponge. I, I'm breaking my own rules here I know because I always say oh don't use a sponge but because of the extent of the the barbarism of this potter and what he's done to I, I can't help myself but just to do that a little bit. Um, another thing I want to do is well, let's just bring the camera down it so you see that up close So I put a fairly, a fairly definite sort of, um, um, if you turn the camera upside down, <laughs> don't know if that helps seeing it upside down. What I want to do is I'm going to use one of my little, my little rolly wheels and I'm going to put an, an indentation. Put this back, I'll show you what I mean. Hang on. Hang on. So, yeah. I think you know. I think really, from a from a, if you're going to sort of like from a production point of view, if you're going to be making these, perhaps this way that I'm doing them is is. Is maybe ooh. gosh, it's stuck. He's stuck to the oh, he's come off now. Yeah, trying to work wet like this is <laughs> so. What I actually wanted to do. is put a, put a, on the underside of that. Yeah, it, it, it is, what I've done is, can you see on the underside there of the lug, I put a, a grippy, a grippy texture so that you got something to hold on to a little bit of a little bit of grip there now as I said to you this can be um, this can be straightened up a little when he's a little bit stiffer when he's a little bit more leather hard and um, Probably that is a, a good idea. But for all intensive purposes, he's finished, apart from I haven't sealed it. It's too wet to really pick up and seal. What I was trying to show you there, and what I've done on that other one that I did the other day that finished prematurely, that, that's this one. Um, I put like a, you see what I just done there on the underside and on this one of the of the lug so that when you when you hold it you feel this this grippy texture on the underside of it you see 
Yeah, this is the one that ran out, but I had to finish it anyway. But you didn't see me finish it. Okay, this is now stiffened off. This one here is still, still a little bit wet. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I'm sort of, as I said, flying by the seat of my pants here a little bit. Uh, and um, I don't know really whether trying to do this so wet like this is actually a really good idea. I think I probably would um, revert to my old ways and just try to do it when it's a little stiffer. It's just a, a, it's just a bit more practical and a bit easier to to pick it up and to deal with it, you know. Maybe try and work with it soft, but not as soft as this, because this is okay. So that's that was that was made and has been completed. All right, all in one fell swoop. Well, you you see what's involved if you're trying to do it when it's rather wet. Okay, you have to make up your mind if you want to have a go at doing it like that, or or you if you're a little bit of a beginner and not used to doing then I would perhaps recommend you let it get a little bit um, leather hard. Okay, hope that's been of interest to you folks anyway. Uh, yeah, if I make more of these, I'll just make them. Um, do it when it's a bit more stiff. They're quite nice though, I think, I don't you? Uh, you know, for that, that nice, uh, that nice uh, pound of butter. Uh, it's not a lidded butter dish as such, but um, who says who says it has to be lidded? There's all different kinds of um, butter dishes, aren't there? If you didn't want to use it as a butter dish, any case, in any case, you could use it as a, a pie dish, couldn't you, to put into the oven. Can you imagine in here a nice apple crumble <laughs> or a rhubarb crumble with a nice crumble on the top here? You know, you can imagine taking it out of the oven, you know, and placing it on the table. And um, yes, absolutely, I think so. Okay, folks, thanks for joining us. Thanks for hanging on in there. It's probably a bit of a long clip, I know. Um, so, let me just show you very quickly before I buzz off uh, some of the bowls, those ones you saw me do here. These guys, you remember you saw me do these? Um, these are now sort of dry. Yeah, they, 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 they came out quite nicely, I thought. Quite pleased with those. Um, got to now do the glazing on them, of course. All right. Just to show you those, there's some tankards here as well. And um, coming up in the next clip, I'm probably going to start trying to make some some bigger pots. I need to exercise myself a little bit in, in throwing some larger larger forms. So I'm going to be trying to do that. So join me for that. I don't know, five pounds, eight pounds, etc. something on that scale, maybe 10 pounds. See if I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, folks. Join us for a workshop. See the dates on my website if that interests you. Um, apart from that, Leech Treadle Wheels, I'm taking orders on these. If, if owning and, and having one of these is something that you've always wanted or you've been interested in, jump at the opportunity because I am not making more of these probably. Uh, it's doubtful unless I can get enough people interested because it is such a hassle trying to get it together. And um, so, uh, you know, I'm seriously, I thought in fact I wasn't going to be making any more and I, and I, I, I decided, okay, I'll do. I'll make one final batch of 